show everybody what's happening right now at this scene. So this is what is happening. <laughs> wow, Tucker. This is Tucker by the way. Oh, Tucker is filming me. Yeah, this is Gwen. Yeah. <laughs> so we are here. While they are filming me, we're walking back into the facility zone. So if you walk this way, you will head towards Great World City. A lot of people, they like to bring their dogs out for walks, cycle, and then uh, this way is towards Great Wall. At the back is towards Queenstown. Uh, and if you go straight and turn right, you will head towards Capel. So we're here at the side gate already. Let me zoom out a little bit for you. Fantastic. So why do we call this a prime hexagon zone? That will be where the entire GCB zoning is being situated. You will get to see Great World City, which is just right there. Can't talk about that the Great World City. Facings is the main thing that you cannot change the moment you buy a unit. So that will then combine a 9,000 plus to 10k rental in totality. Finally, we're here and this is Principal Gardens. This is one of the rare ones because it's so difficult to find a project in Singapore that has 80-20 landscaping ratio that you get to enjoy. And finally, we get to have a 3 bed dual key for sale because this is an extremely rare layout in the entire enclave right here as well because only two projects with dual key layouts which is the Crest 60 over units of 3 beta dual key as well as Principal Garden of the entire 663 units there are only 23 units that are 3 bit dual key and I'm going to show you how to make the best use out of a dual key unit for longevity let's go Now this project was magnificently built by UOL because of the fact that it's sitting on an elevated land and right behind this project is actually the entire GCB zoning which is Chatsworth Bishop Gate. So I'm walking along the Alexandra Park connector to orient us a little bit. This part of Singapore is at District 3. Right behind is actually District 9 and 10 already and that's the entire Javois and River Valley area. When you go up to the sky pool and the sky deck, you get to see the entire Bugatima. And of course, as I flip over, you get to see Great World City, which is just right there. Can I talk about Taka, Taka, Great World City? <laughs> you also get to see Takashimaya on one side of the Sky Terrace, and that side you get to see the sea view. That is where the CBD zoning is. So actually, we are just very close to one another. If I were to head down further, you will get to see Red Hill MRT Station. Those projects right there will be projects like Metropolitan, LX Residences, Echelon. However, if you want to live just right beside the GCB zoning, then you have to get either this principal garden or the crest. So there are only two projects here. This project was being done with like a mixture of modern and earthly tones because these are actually terracotta tiles, brown, red tiles at the exterior facade. So so mixed with grey and white tonality because of the way that the landscaping has been structured. It's super breezy. On level one, there are already five pools. Family pool, you get kids pool, you get lab pool that's 50 meters. Number six pool on the sky deck on level 24. Five to six different small little pools that's mixed around the entire landscape. Full on clubhouse, five barbecue pits, tennis court. The moment you drive in, you'll notice that in terms of drop off point, it's actually one level below the main landscaping level. Fun fact, I was just trying to search on squarefoot.com.sg. Are there any other developments that are called principal? But somehow, this is the only project that's called principal garden. So this is the only one. Alright, so if this is your first time hearing about dual key units, something about dual key units is that developers in recent years, they have stopped constructing dual key units. I think one of the core reasons is because for dual key units, you can only have that entire stack specially made. Now, the reason is because if you want to have a separate kitchenette in your studio unit, within that entire dual key unit, sometimes in terms of piping, electrical system and all that, they have to be uniquely made for that particular stack. More costing is involved because if you want to have two kitchenettes in the same layout, a lot more materials will definitely be used. If you were to look at the entire three bedroom dual key function, three bed dual key right here is at 1195 square feet. The next level will be 1238 square feet, which is a three bed plus private lift. Those units are already going close to about $3 million in terms of asking price. This unit is asking at $2.56 million. So when you look at this, this a the potential of the rental that you can get. This is of course one of the plus point of dual keys. So the three beders here, in terms of total rental, some of the units are asking at about 
about $7,800 in terms of current rental asking price at the point of filming right now. If you look at the two bedders, they're already asking for close to about $6,000. The one bedder within your unit, it can easily fetch about three eight to $4,000. So that will then combine a $9,000 plus to ten k rental in totality. If you want to occupy the two bedder space for yourself, what you need to do is just to rent out that one bedder. That can already substantiate close to half of your monthly installment figures. And that is a fantastic safety net that you want to have. Because if you were to compare to buy a pure two beta, which is at about two odd million dollars right now, your monthly installment is going to be about the same amount. So why don't you get a three bit dual key and have a tenant pay most of the interest payment while your monthly installment is going towards most of the principal payment for longevity. If you want to stay in that one beta, renting out your two beta, you can also do that because you can fetch 6,000 over there while you live in the one beta apartment. So Time, let's head into the actual layout. This is stack number six. Now, it's very important to look at the site plan because firstly, you want to look at the facing. That is the main thing that you cannot change the moment you buy a unit because developers always love to give one of the best facings to the large unit. Just right far behind, that will be where the entire GCB zone is being situated because it's already fully populated with landed properties. Landed properties means that the highest height that you can go is about three and a half level. The max height will be how high all these Javois apartments will be at. This is the north direction. The smaller units will face towards the red hue portion. Right now, let's cut over to the sky terrace view just to let you appreciate a little bit about the GCB facing. When we look at the master plan, this entire zoning is undergoing a lot of transformation in the sense that the latest residential plots, they are actually given a much higher plot ratio and that might mean that in future, if there's going to be any prime housing right here or any other high-rise residential development, in terms of price benchmark movement, it's going to be very healthy in this region. So I'm going to bring you back towards the layout. You want to have a dual key with a three bit concept. This is the only stack that's available as stack number six. There are two stacks of two bit dual key towards the last tower at tower 99. And we're situated at tower 93. Tower 93 and tower 95 has the deepest distance away from the boundary line of the project. The towers don't get to see one another. They are all lined up very nicely facing towards the GCB direction. That gives you a lot of privacy in a sense. So this three bit dual key has already been pre-modified by our clients because they want flexibility for dual key kind of fashion in case in future if you want to rent out either the one bedroom apartment or maybe the two beta, they have the flexibility to do so. And then we're going to invite our architecture visualization team to help you to visualize how was the original layout because this was the dividing wall with the main door towards the two beta right here. This was actually the main door towards the one beta. So if you want to read step back, we've already gotten the quotation from our very regular ID advisor. All you need is $12,000 to reinstate everything back to its original state, including building back the kitchenette here. Originally, this studio apartment came with a kitchenette. So not all dual keys comes with a full-on kitchenette and a fridge system because the way that dual keys are being structured is that there is just a bedroom by itself. But the dual keys right here in Principal Garden has that proper kitchenette originally as well as a fridge system. This room can fit in a king bed. Right now it's being utilized as a kid's room. It enjoys the same view right here. You technically sort of like have two master rooms because your studio unit comes with an ensuite. In any sense, if you want to put up a dual key for rental, all you need to do is to put in that green wall right here over at this direction for a dividing concept so that your tenant have their own privacy, you have their own privacy as well. And let me share with you some quick tips on how to manage a dual key unit for rental. So most landlords, when they want to rent out their small portion of their dual key unit, they will leave the foyer zone to be a common space. So the foyer zone is already done with full-on carpentry. You can allocate certain cabinets for your tenants to utilize. It's also very important to install a secondary electrical meter board. So that can be done by getting a PE in as well as an electrical certified personnel to put an additional DB box. We can also get a quotation 
patient for you if you don't understand a little bit more. Alternatively speaking, we have some clients that they do a swap around. They would themselves will live in a studio unit and then they rent out this two beta. Either you rent that out with a $3,800 rental per month or you can rent this out with close to about $6,000 rental per month. So we'll leave that decision up to you. But most importantly is that if you want to rent out the entire space, you definitely can enjoy better rental compared to a normal three beta. Now the reason is because if you were to separate the rental, you can have longevity in terms of frequency. You don't have to worry about renting out an entire three beta and having that vacancy period of one to two months to search for a new tenant. Because if your two beta tenant leaves, you need some time for a new tenant to come in, you still have an ongoing rental with your studio unit. You're gonna have a little bit more protection when it comes to tenancy vacancy period. And if you want to rent out both, the total rental that you can fetch by renting to two different tenants is much more than renting out a three beta at about 7,008 because this can technically fetch you close to about 9,000 over dollars. So in any sense, if you were to work back the figures, the dual key definitely have a little bit more flexibility and protection when it comes to rental investment. Our clients have actually pumped in close to about $40,000 of renovation when they first bought this place which is why you see a little bit more like a retro design on certain portions which are beautifully done. In the current layout, you have sort of like two different dining areas. So balcony size, because of the fact that it's like L-shaped kind of design, this can easily seat a four to five seater and join the GCB view. There's not going to be any high rise right there. So this is considered a perpetual view that you can get because those are all freehold properties over there. Kitchen, flooring material, engineered wood, living room, basically polished marble. On top, having a 195 square feet, we still have a yard WC right towards the back. But this has been converted into a store. You also have a very sizable yard that allows you to look towards the Red Hill direction. So you get a lot of cross vent. This is also what we call like a single load facing. Because right behind us, there's no neighbours right here. So it's an open view even from your kitchen. There's also an open view towards this direction. At stack number 6 allows you the benefit of having a single look facing, which is why it's extremely windy even from here. We came for the first bedroom which is extremely huge. If you want to utilize that as your master, you can also do that as well. This room right now is being featured as a study room. Ceiling height that's given by developer is pretty generous. To make sure AV is <laughs> AV long is yeah, okay. This is where your bed head rest will be. This can be like a TV console zoning. Perfect room for your kids. If you want to put in a bunk bed feature, I can feature that for you as well. Put it right against this wall. Create like a small study right here that's facing towards this direction. Fantastic room for your kids to enjoy. Now, master room currently is a king bed. This allows you to sit up, read before you sleep. All the plug points are already done. You still have a lot of walkway space for your baby cot. You know, there's a, like a corner window right here. This part is facing towards the crest. All you need to do is basically just to pull a little bit of curtains right here because the benefit of having a corner stack is very different from a center stack. So when you are in the center stack, the key difference is that you are short of certain windows towards the side. But when you are at a corner stack, you get technically three different facings. One at the front, one towards the back because it's a single load layout. And because you are at a corner, you get a third facing which is towards this direction. Even your bathroom comes with a cross ventilation towards the side which is fantastic. Of course, there's a safety lock right here. This home has already been childproof. You have invisible grills throughout. So bathroom, standing shower feature, hidden storages. I need to show you the common bath, which is also pretty decent in size. And you have side windows that is opening up as well. Most of the time, what we notice is that developers has already swapped bathrooms with ventilation mechanisms. So you no longer get to see new launches populated with windows like this. So this is a huge plus point. Come. This is a beautiful project. I need to show you something. So why do we call this a prime hexagon zone? It's because there are six apexes. Number one, you have orchard, CBD, zoning, the greater southern waterfront, the Holland region, 
Silicon Valley Tech Hub, Bukit Timah right at the top. This is what we call the prime hexagon zoning. Maybe just to make sense of the selection criteria, we are hunting between a 3-bit, 3-bit dual key, 3-bit plus private lift. Firstly, the 3-bit standard, which are currently there are none for sale right here at Principal Garden. You have to look at the 3-bit 2.2 to 2.3 million because it's about 1076 square feet. The 3-bit plus private lift is already at 2.9 to 3 million dollars. Dual key, which is in between at 1195 square feet. And this is at 2.56 million. 2 to 300,000 more than the standard 3 beta, 3 to 400,000 less than the 3 bit plus private lift. That is a perfect option for families that want to have flexibility for own stay plus rental investment because this is so flexible and dual key are a rare breed nowadays. If you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers, Ramsey, as well as Christina. Their numbers are right down below. You can also head down to the description box to click on the link right down and that will bring you to our landing page at propertyinbrass.com where you're going to have the virtual tour, you're going to have the floor plan, you're going to have in-depth description about this particular property. And once again, thank you for staying tuned with us throughout this entire home tour. My name is Melvin Property Brass. As always, happy to show you the place. Do remember to like, subscribe and follow us on different social media platform channels and thank you for staying tuned with PLB. Let so me show AV. A B long is yeah, okay. So anyway, this video, I think it's guys uh tell Josephine at this. So uh <laughs> Josephine, this video ho, we we'll try a sing the storyboard. We we'll put it like a little vlog. Then the introduction we will tell her to do uh Josephine introduction we will go through we will do a different stuff. Yeah, so Josephine, there will be a little bit of a mess, but we can go through. <laughs> Do it. Okay. <laughs>